slaves. This guy seems to have different intel. I suppose it makes sense. Things pass f f through word of mouth. Your purple monkey dishwasher has a habit of getting tossed in there. He does not look for riches. Seven is a, is more ambitious. Each year we pay a lot of money to him f to leave us in peace. Seven is my goal now. Anyone who gets in my way is my enemy. Where is Seven? That's um, a sanguine. I'll probably go with that. He killed my mother, so now I'll kill him. Tell me where I can find Seven. Uh, my mother may have may may uh, may have been doomed regardless, but he'll pay for attacking me. Where is Seven? Let's go with this one. He looks frightened. Seek Seven? Are you crazy? You are not listening to me. Look around. See those main train main tra training here? They are hardened warriors sent by our Jarl. They are here to defend us from Seven's attack. Tax, and we are lucky. Other villages don't enjoy as much importance to the Jarl. No, no. I know nothing about Seven. But you said you pay for protection from Seven. To Seven. Then why do you have the soldiers? Be consistent, Tonric. You're not making sense, man. And so what? They're not looking for Seven. Where is Seven? I want an answer now. Tonric, I need your help. Don't you know I can help you kill Seven? Good. He rubs his hands nervously. Panai, look at yourself. You're weak. Puny. Almost dead just weeks ago, saved by lowly fishermen. You've lost all your possessions. You don't have weapons, resources, or men. I don't know where Seven keeps his hideout. But if you go there someday, you will meet your dad. I don't fear death, Tonric. I know what I want to do, and it is to kill Seven. Farewell. I see you don't know anything. Thanks for everything. Farewell. I don't know if that's a sincere one or not. I almost feel like they should have an option. That's a sincere thanks for everything. Because that could be a sincere one. It could also be a sarcastic one. I'll go with that. I see the determination in your eyes. Here, take these few coins and my advice along with them. Find a job. Forget about Seven. Otherwise, feel free to ask the Jarl of Kenemar. He might be able to help you. Any tasks? We suffer greatly at the hands of a group of bandits. They take our food and livestock and kill anyone who doesn't obey them immediately. Our men are, are angry we cannot defend ourselves, but we are only simple farmers. However, with some help, I think we... That, that, so I think that some of the people here could be more than that. So we, we just need an experienced warrior to teach us how to fight. Sure, I'll do it. Like, what about the warriors just there? Consistency! There is none. Uh, you will? Oh, splendid. We will be deeply indebted to you, sir. I'll instruct the village folk to assemble here and receive your training. If you can teach us how to defend ourselves, I promise you'll re receive everything we can give you in return for your efforts. Oh, good, that's gone. Train the peasants. Train them? Ooh, I got train. Uh, actually, two training skill. I should have buffed it up a bit. But also, look at this mercury water here. I should have left clicked. Take action. Wait, what? No, uh, wrong click. Train. But look at that water. It's making me think of mercury rather than water. So yeah, for some reason they strip off to just like short shorts. Apparently, people living near Vikings like short shorts. Oh, that answers the age-old question. Jump on head! Oh, Christ. Piss off! Oh, Christ. You were beaten. The peasants were hardened by their success. But the lesson you wanted to teach them probably didn't get through. Ow. That it can happen. Next time I'll try and not piss around. You can actually end up fighting more than one at a time. Pe um, peasant wise. In large scale combats, yes, you can end up fighting more than just one enemy at a time. Ooh, flashy lights. I was in the paranoid when there's flashy lights, because I keep getting paranoid. Oh no, I hope, you know, no. 
it's not flashy enough that it could cause epilepsy. Well, uh, cause an epileptic fit. Because, ugh. <laughs> it's one thing to say, like, oh, this person does make good videos. It's another thing for some to say, their videos are so bad they kill people. You know? Also, in fact, someone would have died from my video. You know, you know, I wouldn't want that bad to happen to a person. Also, <laughs> it would just be awkward having people say that about your videos, you know? And again, I suppose not video quality, but whatever. Just go with it. Sounds funnier. His his content is so terrible, people die. Be I'm just imagining, you know. Um, I was just thinking, like, you know, like, yeah, take that, you know, girl from the ring. It, uh, my videos don't take a week to kill people. Huh? Actually, I remember seeing some fan art. Someone, uh, I don't remember what it's called. But basically, it was like, you know that girl from the ring? She grew up. She's still a ghost ghost person. But she's, after growing up, she's, after having a kid, kids in school. Um, it's actually kind of funny and kind of cute. Um, like, uh, classmates were trying to cheat off her. She just lets out some, like, banshee whale. Um, and they think that's the answer. Um, kid tries to give her, like, has a crush on her, tries to give her a flower at wilt, but she gives him a little peck on the cheek, which is, aww. Um, there, someone was claiming that there's this comic out there. I didn't get to see it myself. I've been meaning to have a look at all these, but I just happened. Um, they do, like, some, like, the other kids from class try to do some satanic rituals, the summoner. I say satanic, but, you know, it's just, to just put the image, it's probably not accurate. It's like some, you know, that kind of ritual to summon her to see if she wrote down notes from class. But anyway, after beating your last opponent, you explain to the peasants how to defend themselves better against such an attack. You hope they'll be, they, you hope they will take the experience to heart and be better prepared next time. I don't know what's with that flickering on the screen. You know, I'm surprised that like, I survived here. You know what, with the mercury here. For a distance it looks fine, but up close it just... Well, maybe calling it mercury is a bit rough, but yeah. Damn, I'm strong. Thankfully this guy does not, doesn't have nearly as much... Um, Power strike is the other guy. A higher power strike means you do more damage. Train peasants. Hmm, like the music. Declaration of War. The Kingdom of Cornobia has declared war against the Kingdom of North Himber. Uh, something map is alarmed by the growing power of them of them. Blacksmiths have stopped manufacturing plows have forged swords and spears. War has been declared. I like, the, I like that music. There's actually... That actually makes me think of like something that will be in like Metacritic Solid. Just probably, um... I, um... Maybe I'm thinking of Sins of the Father, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure, though. Um... There's another one here, another song here. I'll tell you when it plays, but it actually made me start thinking of something you'd see in Bloodborne. Here in Bloodborne. Well, uh, not this one. Somehow. Though I do like it. Nice and jazzy. <laughs> I'm too busy grooving out to this to notice my enemy, my opponent approaching. Though, to be honest, I, I just keep wondering what's up with his face. Like, he's just substantially paler, almost blue in his face, compared to the rest of his body. So I'm wondering, like, was he a half-hearted member of the Blue Man Group, or what? So, yeah, I'll move on to doing the, um... Continue with main quest soon enough. 
Just I think it would be a good idea to do this. As you've see, uh, seen, like it gives some XP. I got uh, got some stuff for my uh, pole arm skill. D this is a good idea. I kind of like this artwork, like all the detail on that. As you uh, as you get ready to continue to training, a sentry from the village runs up to you, shouting alarms. The bandits have been spotted on the horizon, riding hard for Dokenaga. The local leader begs that you organize the newly trained militia and face them. I've only a knife. Shanky, shanky. Couldn't I have kept this stick? Apparently I still have to worry about stamina. I'm thinking maybe I should have turned that off. Probably too late to do it now. Say lovey. Okay, robbers. Ah! Come on! Oh, Christ! Move! Peasants, protect me! Ah, Christ! I had much easier time the first time around. Christ. I would have had much easier time if they'd actually give me a proper weapon. Uh, try as you might, you could not defend the ba defeat the bandits. Infuriated, they raised the village to the ground to punish the peasants and leave the burning waste and behind to. Oh. The village has been pillaged, the handful of. Um, ignore that. Actually, um, hop into here. Just need to check one thing. No, not you. Leave. Actually, wait. Can I buy a weapon from you? No, I can buy chicken, pork, and wool cord. Not really weapons. Uh, this is the place I wanted to go to. You know, I need to get some extra movement on the world map. 4.3 is not really that great. Okay, I actually know how to read. Fantastic. Thieves. Eh. Let's not engage them. I piss nothing. I'm tired, so I'm not talking much. There's a boar. A boar herd that consists of a single boar. Fantastic. Um... Uh, Trade with locals. Uh, trade with weaponsmith. I need to get a weapon. I wonder, can I actually take anyone captive? Probably not. And I actually don't have enough money to actually buy a weapon. The cheaper things are down here, and I could buy a staff. But I'm not sure if that's even worthwhile. We'll leave it for now. I could have gone quicker if I went through the ferry station, but that would probably cost. And I'm kind of broke right now. Certainly may have been within my price range, but... Still. Wait, what's going on out here?
Um, hmm. Sorry, I thought these were the um, people, one of the personals to talk to you, but... Apparently not. Uh, I'll just go with I am Pauna. I am Jarl so-and-so, so-and-so, vassal of the Kingdom of Frisch and Lord of so-and-so and so-and-so. I see that you carry Nobleman's Banner, but I do not recognize the device. Perhaps you're a bastard son of a puffed-up cattle thief. Or perhaps you stole it. Maybe I'll take your banner, and your cattle, and your life. No. Let's go here and visit the Ward's Hall. Should can I buy a weapon? No, I can't. Do I know you? Uh, my name is Palmai, at your service, sir. I am Jarl so-and-so, Haldin's son, vassal of the Kingdom of Frisch, and the Lord of Kenemar and Dormham West. I don't recognize the vice in your banner. No doubt another foreigner come to our lands, so we don't have so many here already. What is it? Uh, Jarl H Hodorf Haraldson Tonric of Dokagan told me you could help me. This is going to go on for so long. <laughs> oh, he... Actually, just dislikes me, huh? Tonric is a good man, one of the few Frisians who have who have gained my esteem. If you come here in his name, I'll listen to you. Do you know the Woden Rick? Whatever way I keep looking at his hair, I keep thinking it's like a, a tiara he's wearing, just this bit here. I traveled on this ship, but with my mother. But we were attacked by seven bullneck. Seven the bloody attacks merchant ships near our shores, waiting for us to pay him every spring. But not this year. Do not worry. I'm gathering troops to hunt for him. Now, I have things to do. I, uh, I could go with... Sorry, I started reading ahead. Uh, I desire to join the hunt. My goal is to avenge the death of my mother. Or I could go with... Yes, those are just the words I wanted to hear. Attack him at sea. Your enthusiasm... Oh, <laughs> he likes it. Your enthusiasm gladdens me. Wish my men talk alike. Talk taught alike, but they are too frightened of seven. How many men and ships can you bring to the hunt? Uh, in truth, I lost everything, but I do not lack the courage to achieve my revenge. I'm this one man, sir, but I'll give you. Uh, but I'll give my eternal loyalty to you. That sounds better. Let's go do this. Wow. <laughs> and he actually liked me more. Previously, he actually really dislikes me. In my first time through, but I went with a more melancholy character, and so, yeah. Well, I understand your desire for revenge, but I cannot help you. I need men and ships ready to fight, not desperate and poor equipped orphans in mourning. You just cannot see it now, but you need me, sir. I'm not afraid of Seven. No. Oh, someone who is not afraid of Seven is a fool, but maybe I should give you a chance to prove your worth. Are you indeed so motivated by honor? I wasn't really honor, it was more like. You know, I want to, you know, chomp on his you know, throat. You know. <laughs> well, it's not really honor, is it? But regardless. Alright. I, I can do this. I'll give you a place among the men who will face seven if you prove your word. He makes a sign of Odin to ward off by luck. There's a problem I need to solve. Not far from here is a monster of Christians. Odin, damn them. Who have sent a request to intercede in a prop land property dis dispute. Honestly, I care very little about their problems. But the king wants Christian priests happy to avoid Frasian rebellions. Anyway, my men are busy protecting important things like the people on the coast. So you go in my name and make the arrangements that best suits my interests. The most important thing is to keep the monks quiet. I do not want them stirring up the people versus rightful Danish domination. Um, thank you, my lord. I will not disappoint you. Are you still here, man? You have a mission. Complete it and revenge on Seven will be that much closer. Now get out. I'll, I'll ask him about permission and all that when I come back. I'm trying not to sneeze. I have to go here. Um, they can train, teach you to read for 4,000 coins, but you did... Okay. They have a land dispute. They have a piece of paper that 